Welcome to our tutorial on SOFI. SOFI is the translation portal that we use to collaborate translations from our partners on all projects. This video will answer the questions that you may have while using this portal. How do I log in? To log in, you will need to go to sophie.directi.com slash new. This will take you to a page where you will need to enter your email address and password. Your email address will be the same as your reseller username. If you forget your password, you can click on the Forgot Password option here and a mail with the password will be sent to your email address. Once logged in, you will see the dashboard that includes the language that you are working on, the project that you have been given access to, and a few filter options that we will take you through as we proceed. You will also be presented with pieces of text that need to be translated. Moving forward, let us see how we can navigate through this portal. How do I select what to translate? You will first need to choose the project that you want to add translations for. You will then need to select the status of the text that you want to translate. This can either be text with no translations, text waiting for votes, or completed translations. Text with no translations. These are pieces of text that no other translator has translated yet. Text waiting for votes. These are pieces of text that one or more translators have already translated and now require votes. A piece of text has to receive three votes to be counted as a completed translation. We will discuss voting on translations in detail further on in this tutorial. Completed translations. These are pieces of text that have been translated and have also received the required three votes. Once you have selected the status of the text that you'd like to work on, you will need to click the Get Phrases button and all the relevant text will be displayed to you. Let's assume that we only want to translate text messages that have no translations for Project Order Box. Check the box and click on Get Phrases. You are now presented with messages that are available for translation. How do I begin translating? To begin translating, you can click on the text that you wish to translate. This will pop up a window where you can add a new translation by clicking on the Create a New Translation link, adding your translation and hitting the Submit button. This translation will now be made available to other translators working on this project so they can vote on the translation. Let us learn a little more about how the voting mechanism works in SOFI. What is voting? Voting ensures that all the translations that are accepted and pushed to the live environment are of the best quality. We urge all translators to actively vote on translations so that the project reaches completion at the earliest. When you search for text that is waiting for votes, you can either improve a particular translation or vote for the translation if you think it has been translated accurately. A translation needs three votes to become a completed translation. If you believe that a particular translator's translation is accurate, you should vote for it by clicking the thumbs up icon which will add to the vote count of that translation. If you believe the current translation is incorrect, you can vote against it by clicking the thumbs down icon. You will then need to click on improve this translation and add your own version. How do I search for a string that I want to translate? To search for a string, you will need to check the required box in filter by status. Then in the search box, type the text you wish to search for in double quotes. For example, open quote, domain registration, Close quote. This will give you all the pieces of text with the matching keywords. You can then proceed to select the string that you'd like to translate. 
Can I edit completed translations? Yes, you can. A completed translation is one that has already received three votes. When you click on a completed translation, you can either vote for the translation with a thumbs up or vote against it with a thumbs down and improve the translation. How do I make translation changes to HTML content? Most of the mails that go out from the system have HTML tags. While translating HTML content, it is very important to make sure that the HTML tags remain the same. If not, you will get an error. Now that you're familiar with how to use this interface, let us see how you can keep track of your progress on the project. How do I check my progress? You can check your progress by going to the translator's report. Here, you will be able to view your contribution along with that of other translators to a project. To understand what a particular column stands for, simply use the tooltip for further information. As a translator, the most important column for you will be the accepted word count as this count signifies the actual number of words that have been accepted and voted into the live system. How do I check the status of a project? To check the status of a project, you will need to go to the projects report. This will give you an overview of the status of the project in terms of the number of messages that have been translated. How can I add my feedback? To provide us with your feedback, please click on the feedback link in the footer and add your comments here. We hope that this tutorial has been helpful and that you now have a clear understanding of how to go about using SOFI. If you have any further questions, do contact us at localize at resellerclub.com.